in basis. In other words, you can stay in the shelter system for 60 days. Hopefully you can get yourself together Listen. and find a place to live. Now the city also tries to help you find a place to live, but if you don't within those 60 days, they evict you out and then allow new people to come into the shelter so they can get and more give them that scenario so they can find, find housing. But that has now become a problem because now migrants are literally killing each other to stay in the shelter. From a human crisis in the Middle East to a human crisis in New York City, about 40 families of asylum seekers tomorrow must leave their homes. Their 60 days of living in a hotel at public expense has now expired, and today their kids went to school while the parents started packing up. So where will they go, and how do they pay for all this? And more violence in New York City due to the out-of-control border crisis, with tensions running high at makeshift migrant shelters. One fight even took a deadly turn over the weekend. The New York Post describing those migrant tent cities as helter shelter, for good reason. Alexis McAdams is live from Randall's Island in New York City. Good morning, Alexis. Hey, Dana, yeah, a lot of things unfolded over the weekend with the migrant crisis here in New York City. We can tell you one migrant here on Randall's Island was stabbed at least one time in his torso. He was rushed to a local hospital, but he didn't make it. Take a look on your screen. This is where it all unfolded here in Randall's Island on Saturday night. Just after 24, Trump. There, this guy. Right outside that migrant shelter. And remember, Dana, these were sports fields, right, for kids? Well, they're now home to these massive migrant facilities. You can see there police responding to the area it's after the guy up. was reportedly surrounded and attacked. Investigators say he had more than one stab wound and it was a 27-year-old migrant who was arrested for this fatal stabbing now charged in connection to this incident. So this came so we're going to have to pay to house them in our U.S. jail. Migrant center in New York City. Witnesses there so say they're going to put more strain on our system. This is human trafficking. Temporary housing. They wait there for hours for this. That's when this fight broke out. Two NYPD officers were injured in the incident and at least two guys faced charges in that case okay so i want i don't want to be harmless i don't want to be harmless